websites like bulk.com, liquidation.com, and all of those other various liquidation wholesale websites that allow you to purchase from them without an actual business resale certification are a complete waste of time. And the average reseller, especially those of us that are interested in growing our resale business or potentially starting our resale business, I think that's a terrible sourcing method. So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys my top three reasons as to why I think you guys should avoid those types of websites. And later in the video, I'll give you guys just a couple reasons as to how I think it could possibly benefit some of you all as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. So starting off is mainly because of the slow sell through rate. Now, most of these items that you'll be purchasing from a lot of these liquidation websites, those items have a really, really slow sell through rate. So when I say sell through rate, I'm specifically talking about how long it takes for an item to sell. So perfect example, if you see an item and it has 10 active listings and you go to the sold listings and you see 100 items sold in the last 90 days, that is an incredible sell through rate. However, if you see an item and it also has 10 active listings, but zero sold listings in the past 90 days, that is an item that I will typically avoid because it has a very, very slow sell through rate. So when you're purchasing these items from liquidation.com, bulk.com, um, whatever wholesale website that you guys want to include, a lot of those items have a really, really slow sell through rate. And that's because it might be a, a very bad size or it might be a bad style or a bad color. That's the main reason why they're selling it wholesale in the first place. So that's one of the main reasons why I always tell people to avoid any of those wholesale or liquidation websites, because the types of items that you're going to be getting is usually items that, you know, are going to be a lot harder for you to sell and it's going to take a lot longer for you to sell as well. So the next reason is really due to the very, very small profit margins. Now I'll give you guys a perfect example and I'll even put up some screenshots here for you guys as well. I actually use this one app called eProfit and it's basically just a profit calculator and it breaks down all of the different fees that eBay typically charges you, especially if you're selling items like clothing and shoes. I purchased a ton of shoes um, liquidation from Target. On average my purchase price was about three dollars a shoe and before purchasing those shoes I seen that they were selling for right about twenty dollars um, sometimes shipping included some particular shoes I had to charge shipping for as well but on average they were selling for about twenty dollars with shipping included so after you factor in the, sh the fees and the shipping costs and of course I use promoted listings for those items as well to hopefully you know attract some more customers my total profit was six dollars and twenty three cents which actually leads me with a ROI of fifty eight point seven percent so for a lot of people that type of return on the investment is actually really really good you're basically doubling your money however I always tell people that you can double triple sometimes even 10 x your money if you're making purchases from say a garage sale or a thrift store or even a flea market you can see much higher profit margins if you source that way as opposed to sourcing from liquidation and wholesale I think it's becoming more of an attractive method and it's becoming more enticing for a lot of resellers out there now mainly because thrift store prices are increasing like crazy even garage sale prices are increasing like crazy due to inflation and the rising prices of everything However, I do think that, you know, there's a lot more money to be made um, making purchases that way and sourcing that way as opposed to sourcing from wholesale websites. Some of the perks of purchasing wholesale or liquidation is that, you know, those pallets or those items actually come to your door. So you don't have to spend a ton of time sourcing. However, the quality of those items are just really, really low. And I tell people all the time, if you're buying things in bulk and you're buying it for a really cheap price, chances are the person that's selling it to you, they're having difficulty selling that item as well. So that's definitely something to take into consideration. So the third reason is that not only is the ROI very slow, but in terms of processing, sorting, and listing those items with the amount of time that it takes to go through all of those things, your actual profit sometimes can be even smaller than, you know, that 58% that I discussed earlier. So let me give you guys a real life example. When I made that purchase of the Target liquidation shoes, I got about three pallets shipped to my house. It was about 600 pairs of shoes that I had to sort through and list and it took me just about 30 almost 40 hours to process and sort through all of those items and once I finally did sort through everything I realized that the sizes were between a size 12 sometimes uh, you know 11 and a half in women's a lot of the shoes were a five and a half and a five in women's and 
I bought this, I made this purchase in the middle of the summer. This was a couple years ago. I actually made that purchase in the middle of the summer. And the majority of the items that I was getting was a ton of winter boots and a lot of sandals and slides and stuff like that. So the majority of the items, I couldn't even sell it until, you know, the following season. And for some people that might actually be a really good business model because purchasing items out of season is actually a really good way to get in season items at a really good price. However, once again, you have to wait for that next season to come along. And for me, I realized that I had to wait sometimes three, sometimes six months before a lot of those items sold just to make, you know, six bucks or 10 bucks. And for me, I tell you guys all the time and I share a lot of my sales in some of my recent what sold videos. And I typically like to sell items that sell within about 10 to 14 days. And I'm usually gaining 100%, sometimes 300% in terms of my profit margins. So that's definitely something to consider. Just the amount of time that it takes to go through all of those items. And, you know, most of the time you're going to be coming across items that are in really bad sizes, really bad colors, items that, you know, most people are just not going to be attracted to. So even though you're getting it at a really cheap price, you know, you're getting items that are not highly desirable and that's why the sell-through rate is so slow. Well, I also wanted to give you guys a couple reasons as to why I think it might be a good sourcing strategy for you. So if you do have a really large eBay store and you have a couple of employees that can help you process all of that inventory, that can be something that can help you, you know, really expedite that process and get a lot of those listings up really, really quickly. You could find yourself making some decent money. So definitely keep that in mind, especially if you have a larger store you have a couple of people to help you out it could be a really really profitable business model the other subgroup of resellers that buying wholesale and liquidation can actually make a lot of sense for is those that aren't typically trying to sell all of their items online so if you are somebody that sells at flea markets or maybe you set up a weekly garage sale outside of your house and you're getting a lot of those same shoes from say a target or an amazon and you're getting them for say three dollars a piece and you're selling them at these local outlets you won't have to deal with uh, shipping costs and fees and stuff like that so by you purchasing those shoes for say three dollars a piece and then selling them for 20 you will see much much higher profit margins so if you're interested in starting a business like that where you're selling more items locally buying things wholesale might be a really good way for you to do business and i think it could be a viable option if you have the space to store a lot of those items as well but like i said for the majority of us the vast majority of us especially if you're watching this channel right now chances are you're interested in selling items online so you kind of have to factor in those shipping costs and that would definitely you know factor in in terms of your overall profit so that's all I have for today's video, but if you guys have any experience in terms of purchasing wholesale or liquidation, definitely drop a comment and let me know because I think there are a lot of really good stories out there and I've had some positive experience purchasing wholesale as well whether that was you know buying items from a local seller that would they were either going out of business or maybe they were switching up their business strategy so they were trying to wholesale a lot of their items or possibly even getting items that were just out of season and they were still decent sizes nice colors but they were just out of season that can also be a really good business model as well purchasing in wholesale because as long as you have the time and the wherewithal to wait for the next season, you can definitely make a lot of money doing it that way. But once again, I'm just speaking to the majority of us out there that are, you know, smaller resellers and we don't have the space or the manpower to deal with all of the ins and outs of purchasing wholesale. But still, drop your comments. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your feelings, how your experiences have been doing any wholesale. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.